a peaceful dialogue between a Hindu and a Muslim part 4. Example 5, Allah says, then he made his posterity out of the extract of a liquid disdained. Surat Sajjah, verse 8. He then created the human's children after it from a delicate fluid, semen. As Sajda 8. The term, extract, is a very small abstract extract, selected and extracted, from the water that is the cause of reproduction. It is the semen that is explained in the previous verse, referred to above in the second example. The meaning of the verse is that the beginning of man's creation as a gene is from extraction a very small the cause of, abstract, descendant, selected and extracted, from the water that is. Procreation The modern science has shown that the specifications of the semen, the sperm of the man in the semen, from which the embryo is created, and from which the offspring of man are exactly identical to what the Holy Quran mentioned and referred to through the word of God, extract, as follows. The term sulala meaning extract is derived from sala meaning sheath, so the name given to the semen has several meanings as follows. The small part, the semen, of the man represented by the sperm. This small part of the fluid resembles a long fish. This small part of the fluid creeps out of man gently. Modern science has discovered that the semen which embryo is produced from is a very small part, one sperm as it is often as shown by the verse we refer to in the second example, from the liquid. Contained in the semen and the shape of this part, sperm, is similar to the long fish which its length is longer than its width. It comes out gently from the center of the overcrowding of too many sperms at the cervix by swimming in the semen for the vaccination of the egg. All these, evidence, are identical to what the Holy Quran had explained and pointed to in more than 1,400 years ago. Where he pointed to these astonishing scientific facts at a time that no one knew anything about it. Therefore, these precious verses are amazing and witness to the truth of the Quran. They also testify that it is a revelation from Almighty God and confirm the credibility of the Prophet Muhammad's message. Example 6, Allah says, Indeed, we created man from a sperm drop mixture. Surat al-Insan, verse 2. I created man from a drop that was a mixture of the liquid of a man and a woman, to test him with the impositions I placed on him. I made him hearing and seeing to carry out the laws I imposed on him. Al-Insan, 2. The meaning of, a sperm drop mixture, is that it is mixed from man and woman's water. Imam Ahmed narrated in his Musnad that a Jew asked the Prophet, Muhammad. He said, O Muhammad, from what man is created? The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, O Jew, he is created from the sperm of man and woman. It is narrated by Ahmed, Hadith 4424. The Quranic verse clearly tells us that the sperm from which man is created is not only from the man or the woman but from the both of them together as indicated by God's statement. This is also evident from the Noble Prophet's Hadith, which explains that man is created from the sperm of both man and woman. It was believed in the past till the end of the 18th century that the body of a human being, with extremely small dimensions is formed from the menstrual blood but after the discovery of the female egg, it is believed that the human body is fully created inside the egg. Then, after the discovery of the sperm, it is believed that the whole human body is created inside its head. However, with the passage of time and awesome progress in modern technological means, modern science has discovered the invalidity of all these claims and confirmed the truth of the Holy Quran's fascinating scientific facts since more than 1,400 years. That is after the stages of fetal creation have been portrayed through modern techniques. The findings of modern science can be summed up in scientific discoveries in the following. Millions of semen do not reach the cervical canal of uterus except only a very small number which does not exceed 500. Not only that but also it is only one sperm that penetrates the female sperm to form a mixed sperm. The scientific miracles in the prophetic sunnah by Dr. Zaglal Alnajal. This process was what the third Quranic verse said as in Allah's word, a sperm drop mixture that is mixed from male and female sperms and as in the Prophet Muhammad's hadith peace be upon him dash. Let us ponder on the word of God, sperm, in the verse where it came in the singular and not in the plural form, sperms, where it is only one that can mix with a woman's to form the mixed sperm. This finding shows the accuracy of the word of the Holy Quran, its comprehension and the extent of its conformity with the discovery of the modern science. Example 7, O people, if you should be in doubt about the resurrection, then, consider that, indeed. We created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then from a clinging clot, and then from a lump of flesh, formed and unformed. Surat al-Hajj, verse 5. 
O oh people, if you have any doubt regarding my power to resurrect you after your death, think about your creation. I created your father Adam from soil. Then I created his children from sperm which the man casts into the woman's womb. Then the sperm turns into solid blood, then the solid blood turns into a piece of meat. Then the piece of meat turns into either a sound creation which remains in the womb until it comes out alive as a child or into an unsound form which the womb aborts. To show my power by creating you in stages. And I settle in the wombs whatever fetus I wish until it is born in a fixed time period of nine months. Then I take you out of your mother's wombs as children, so that you reach the pinnacle of strength and intelligence. Amongst you are some who die before this and amongst you are those who reach old age where strength and intelligence weaken, to the extent that he becomes worse than a child. No longer knowing anything he used to know. And you will see the earth dry without any plants on it. Then when I send down rainwater on it, it opens up with plants, rises due to the plants growing, and brings forth every type of beautiful plant. Oh Hajj, 5. The meaning of, sperm, it is smaller than water that is the cause of procreation of man and woman as in the word of God, mixed sperm, that is, the sperm of man that mixed with woman's. The meaning of, leech, a frozen blood-related piece of the uterus. The meaning of, chew, a piece of meat that can be chewed. The meaning of, created and uncreated, this piece of meat, which can be chewed, has two parts. Some organs of the body have been created in one of them. This is the meaning of the word of God created, and nothing is created in the other part. This is the meaning of Allah's word, an uncreated. Allah says, and certainly we created man from an extract of clay. Then we placed him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump, of flesh, and we made, from, the lump, bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Surat al numinun verse 12 to 14. Verily, I created the father of mankind, Adam, from clay. I took the soil he was created from, from a mixture of water and the soil of the earth. Then I created his progeny who procreate, by way of a drop of sperm that lodges in the womb until birth. Then created the lodged drop of sperm into a red clot of blood, which I then created into a piece of flesh, which I then created into hard bones. I then covered those bones with flesh and then developed it into a completely different creation, by blowing a soul into it and bringing it out into life. Praised is Allah, the best of creators. Al Muminan 12 14. The meaning of an extract of clay, that is, we created Adam the father of all human beings, from an extract of clay. The meaning of sperm, mixed sperm, leech, and chew have been explained earlier. Allah says, What is the matter with you that you do not attribute to Allah, due, grandeur, while he has created you in stages? Surat Nu, verse 13 to 14. O oh my people! What is wrong with you that you do not fear the greatness of Allah, such that you disobey him without any care? While he created you in stages, one after the other, a drop of semen, then clotted blood, then a piece of flesh. Na, 13-14 The meaning of, stages, is different phases. After the stages of fetal creation were depicted, as indicated by the Holy Quran, as shown by the word of God, Atwara, through modern techniques. You can refer to the book, Miracles of the Quran in What is Hidden in the Womb, by Professor Karim Nagwibulagar, in order to see all the stages of embryo creation, which were illustrated through modern techniques. Showing the duration of each stage. Man has the possibility to see the mixed sperm, and then see the fetus as a piece of frozen blood related at the top of the uterus. Also, he can see the fetus as a piece of meat or mud clay placed under the molars. The fetus at this stage resembles something chewed, as in the words of God, chewed. After that, he can see its quality that is it has two parts. Some of the organs of the body were created in one of them as in the words of Allah, created, and the other part was not created as in the words of God, uncreated, that is. If we describe this embryo, as a creature or non-creature, that description is wrong and non-scientific, but the exact scientific description is what the Holy Quran said as in Allah's words, created, and uncreated. How accurate are the words of the Holy Quran? Then, he can see the stage of creating bones, as God says, then we change the embryo to bones, and then he can see the stage of cladding bones with the flesh. As in the words of God, and we put meat on the bones. Also, 
he can see another stage of creation where the human embryo becomes different at this stage from what was in the previous ones. Here, its shape is distinct from other embryos of other organisms, as in the words of God, and then, we created another creation. These are the stages of the development of the fetus, human creation, in this order that is mentioned by the Kuan with great accuracy and wonderful depicting using brief words. How accurate are the words of the Kuan and its rhetoric? What does the priority of Holy Quran and the noble prophetic traditions refer to in these amazing scientific facts since more than 1,400 years ago? Which were discovered only after technological progress in this modern era? There is no doubt that all of these facts indicate the credibility of the Holy Quran and that it is a revelation from Almighty Allah to his trustworthy prophet, Muhammad. The Seal of Prophets and Messengers Thus, protecting the Holy Quran from God in the framework of the Lord to this day and to the hour with the loss and distortion of other prior books is evidence that it is the Book of God, which sealed all the previous heavenly books. For more information on these amazing scientific facts which were told by the Holy Quran and referred to by the noble prophetic traditions in more than 1,400 years ago. At a time when no one has any knowledge of them, you can refer to One Some Scientific Miracle Verses, Heaven, Earth, Animals, Plants, in the Holy Quran, by Dr. Zaglau al najjar 2. Parts 1-2-3 of Scientific Miracles in the Prophetic Traditions by D.R. Zaglal Najjar. 3. Encyclopedia of Islam and Modern Science, Scientific Miracle in the Holy Quran by Dr. Zaglal Najjar. For Embryology in the Light of Quran and Sunnah by the International Organization for Scientific Miracles in the Quran and Sunnah. 5. Hidden Quranic Miracles in the Womb by Prof. Karim Najib al 6 Islam and Modern Science Discoveries as one of the evidence of the prophecy and the message of Muhammad peace be upon him by Professor Muhammad Sayyid Muhammad. Question, Hindu, why is it a must to believe in the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad peace be upon him and the ratification of his call and his message? Answer, Muslim, it is because of what I have shown in my answer to the previous question to clarify what the Holy Quran contains in attesting to its truthfulness and sanctity since the Prophet Muhammad was the one who the Holy Quran was revealed to. This fact shows the truthfulness of his call and the credibility of his message including the prior answers to the previous questions about the clear good news of the coming of the Prophet. Muhammad peace be upon him at the end of time according to the Hindu holy books. Therefore, I will now summarize for you examples of evidence and proofs of prophecy and the message of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as follow. The pure creed and the clear call brought by the Prophet of Islam Muhammad peace be upon him are accepted by flawless instinct, good souls and rational minds, which I have referred to above. His good morals and dignified qualities, including the sweetness of his logic and speech, the beauty of his condition. The perfection of the qualities of his creation and his noble relation, where he was the most honorable of the Arabs, are the proofs that he was distinguished by Allah with the prophecy and message. His asceticism and abstaining from the adornments of the world and its attractions and his struggling in the worship of one God including his calling to the ways of good deeds, virtue, ethics. Tying the relation and continuous remembrance of Almighty Allah by his heart. His mercy for human and compassionate for all the creatures of God and blessing everyone who came to him for any reason. Almighty God's support for him in response to his prayer, to be a proof of the truth of his call peace be upon him. Almighty Allah supports him with miracles and paranormals that no one can bring them except the prophets of Allah and his messengers to be a witness to the sincerity of his call and the credibility. Of his message including the great miracle, which Almighty Allah promised to keep to this day and to the last hour. It is the seal of all heavenly books. The Holy Quran preserves its divine text and enlightenments challenging people by its eloquence, the splendor of its meaning, the accuracy of its words, its structure, its lofty objectives and its goals for the Arabs and others everywhere and every time. It defied them to bring even one chapter, consists of one line, like it, but they could not and failed. Also, the Holy Quran has contained amazing scientific facts for more than 1,400 years. The modern science has confirmed its authenticity and credibility to be the proof that it is the revelation from Allah and that Muhammad is the seal of his prophets and messengers. Allah's protection for him till he delivered his message and spread it despite many attempts of enemies of Islam to kill or hurt him. The Quran was revealed to him at the age of 40 and he died at the age of 63. This estimate indicates that he spread his message for 23 years. That time is equivalent to the duration of the rule of many presidents and emirs but he was able during that period to uproot the polytheism, worshipping idols and anything other than Allah. 
Furthermore, he was sent to instill faith and monotheism in their hearts and found the worship of Allah in a clean way without ascribing a partner to Allah. Likewise, he removed the root of all bad habits from the Arabian Peninsula, so that it will be a proof that he supported him and his message. The summary of the condition of the praised Prophet Muhammad was that he was always thoughtful, silent and did not speak except if it is needed. He did never get angry for himself, it was only when someone violated Allah's commands. Most of his laughers were smiling. He joked with his companions and played with them but he did not say except what is right. Here is a summary of some of the physical qualities of the Prophet Muhammad. These qualities include, he had flower color, white reddish face. He had a round face like the moon on the night of the full moon. He had moderate black eyes. If you looked at him, you would think that there was coal in his eyes due to their natural beauty and not because of adding coal. They are wide with the presence of length in the part of the eye and in his eyelids. This length added beauty to his eyes. His eyebrows are thin in the length without being connected. He had a broad forehead, high nose and the most beautiful lips and had a good divergence between the front teeth. When he spoke, people would see as if the light came out from his incisors. If he is happy, his face becomes bright like a piece of the moon. He had black hair that is neither crimped nor long. His neck was clean like silver. He had a black beard with small white hair after being old. He had a moderate body neither fat nor slim. He was neither tall nor short but he is close to tall. Also, he had straight chest and abdomen. He was patient. He was so handsome to the extent that when people saw his shoulders during Hajj and Umrah, they thought they were light due to the beauty of their whiteness. Not only that but the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him also had other good physical qualities. Question, Hindu, why should Islam be chosen as a religion? Answer, the Muslim, in addition to what I have explained in answers to the previous questions such as clarification of the contents of the Holy Quran and what attested to its truthfulness and sanctity. After that, I showed the sincerity of the call of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because he was the one that the Holy Quran was revealed to including some examples and evidence that indicated the credibility of his message. Now, here are more illustrations. Verily, Islam is the religion of instinct on which Allah created his creatures. It is the religion of monotheism which calls to believing in the Creator, Almighty Allah, and in the oneness of his divinity. It provides typical logical answers to all humans' thoughts, questions and needs. Islam is the only religion that calls to believing in all Allah's prophets and messengers. It respects them and does not discriminate among them. It enjoins upon Muslims to believe in all of them, their messages and honor them as well as testifying that the last scripture is that of the Prophet Muhammad, the seal of all of them. Certainly, the heavenly book which Islam brings is the Holy Quran. It is the only book that Almighty Allah promised to save from loss or distortion because there is no any prophet or messenger after the Prophet Muhammad. Therefore, it is the last heavenly book. It is the seal for all the previous ones. Moreover, it has remained in the framework of the Lord who preserves it by his shining light. It includes all that man needs to establish his life in this world and the hereafter. The following is a part of what it consists of. a. An authentic, pure, clean creed in which there is no defect and no murk. b. The right legislation that let the life of all mankind be upright. c. Guiding worships that purify the human soul, clean it from vices and evil deeds and promote it to the highest levels of kindness. d. Good morals and gracious transactions. e. The highest teachings through which the progress, advancement and civilization can improve. F. Many and varied references to abundant cosmic sciences in various scientific disciplines to let them be impressive flashes, to advance the path of knowledge. G. The lofty guidelines that will solve the various types of problems faced by man in the past and the present. Therefore, it is necessary to believe in this heavenly book, the Holy Quran, which brought by Islam, and then choose Islam as a religion. The moderation of Islam, this is evidenced by the fact that Islam is moderate and not extremist in creed, which contains pure clean faith and calls for faith in the Creator God, Allah. And the unity of His divinity including His glorification, exaltation, and purification Him from any attribute of defamation, deficiency or defect.
Also, it calls to believing in all the prophets of Allah and his messengers as well as respecting them because they were chosen by Allah to spread his message. The moderation of Islam is also reflected in the legislation and worship. It does not assign a soul except what he can and does not enjoin upon him any difficulty. Its moderation is in everything such as eating, drinking, spending, and non-extravagance. Likewise, it is in giving the body and the spirit their rights and requirements. That, example, is in the Prophet Muhammad's confirmation to the statement of the companion, Salman, who studied on his hand to Abu Dada. He said, Your Lord has a right upon you, also your soul and your family. Give each one of them their rights. Then, the Prophet said, Salman is right. It is narrated by al-Bukhari in a long hadith, Hadith 1867. Islam is the religion that achieves moderation and balance between the world and the hereafter, giving each of them their rights. Therefore, Islam must be chosen as a religion because of a lot of evidence and proofs that attest to it being the true religion of blessed and exalted Allah. Here is its explanation. It is generally a must for every human to search for the truth and follow it wherever he finds it as long as there is evidence that proves its credibility. It is not proper that since a thought or belief has prevailed in a society for a long time. Therefore individuals should surrender for it and they should remain committed to its belief and stuck to it in order not to violate what their predecessors lived on especially if there is no evidence or proof for its authenticity. Therefore, if the invalidity of that thought and belief becomes clear to them and they find out the truth in another one, it is an insult to the human mind, which Almighty God has honored them with. To accept a belief or imagination that is merely based on illusions, assumptions and guesses without any evidence of their validity. Especially if they are contrary and opposite to the rationality and obscure to its necessities. For that reason, we invite everyone to think about Islam in a logical and impartial way and then the evidence and proof of its credibility will show to them including that it is the true religion of blessed and exalted God. Question, Hindu, what is the result of choosing Islam in the hereafter? Answer, Muslim, Allah said, but whoever comes to him as a believer having done righteous deeds for those will be the highest degrees, in position. Gardens of perpetual residence beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally. And that is the reward of one who purifies himself. Surat Taha, verse 75 to 76. Almighty God, in this Quranic verse, tells us the beauty of his reward and great compensation for those who believed in him and the oneness of his divinity and performed good deeds with sincerity in their intentions and also surrendered to his commands. Part of all these rewards are high degrees in the gardens of eternity in addition to permanent, lasting, stable and immortal bliss. Parts of the descriptions of paradise in Islam. 1. Its enjoyment is permanent and does neither reduce nor stop. 2. It is illuminated and decorated for its people. There is no heat or cold in it and whoever enters it will forever be happy and never be wrenched. 3. Its soil is very white. Also, it has pure musk strong sweet smell and its small stones are pearls and rubies. For its palaces are made of gold and silver. Five its rivers are the most beautiful with splendid scenery including their multitude and diversity. They consist of pure water and others have milk that its taste does not change. Also, some rivers contain filtered honey and so forth. 6. It is full of green orchards and fresh fruitful trees. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, There is a tree in paradise, which is so huge that, a rider can travel in its shade for a hundred years. Sahih al-Bukhari, Hadith 3252. He also said, There is not a tree in paradise except that its tree is of gold. Sahih at Hadith 2525. 7. Its fruits are sweet, abundant and varied. They will not stop at any time at all. 8. All different types of delicious food, meats, and drinks are available in it. 9. Everything that hearts and eyes desire is there. Neither eyes have ever seen its enjoyment before nor ears have ever heard it and no human minds have thought about them. Parts of the descriptions of the people of paradise in Islam. 1. Their faces are attractive beautiful fresh and shining like the moon on the night of the full moon. 2. Their length is 60 arms. 3. Their age is 33 years old. They will never become old because they will forever live in it as young. Their youth shall not perish nor shall their clothes be ragged. They shall be blessed and never die therein. For they will be healthy and never get sick. 5. They will be blessed with the grace of the exalted Allah and he will never be displeased with them. 
then, they will not be afflicted with depression, distress, affliction, sorrow or misery. They will always be happy and never become wrenched. 6 inches addition, they will enjoy and delight in seeing Almighty Allah without encompassing Him because nothing is like Him. 7 There will be no hatred, discrimination or envy among them, their hearts are like the heart of one man. 8 All that they will eat and drink is sweet and delicious. 9 They will neither spit nor blow their noses. Not only that but they will not urinate or defecate. Any excess of their food and drinks will come out of their bodies in forms of sweat from their skins and its scent will be better than that of musk. 10 One of the people of paradise shall be given the power of 100 men. 11 They will marry the fair women with large, beautiful, eyes, women of the people of paradise. If a woman among the women of paradise looks at the earth, everything between it and the heaven will be full of light and good scent due to the extent of her elegance and beauty. It is known that Almighty Allah will recreate Muslim women and they will be more beautiful than the women of the paradise. In addition, they will be with their husbands in paradise. 12 Their handsomeness and comeliness will be constantly renewed, as their attractiveness and gracefulness will forever increase. 13 They will be inspired the glorification and praising of Almighty Allah like the self-inspiration without the slightest hardship or fatigue. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Allah would say to the inmates of paradise, O, dwellers of paradise, and they would say in response. At your service and pleasure, our Lord, the good is in your hand. He, the Lord, would say, Be you well pleased now. They would say, Why should we not be pleased, O Lord when you have given us what you have not given to any of your creatures? He would, however, say, May I not give you, something, even better than that? And they would say, O Lord, what thing can be more excellent than this? And he would say, I shall cause my pleasure to alight upon you and I shall never be afterwards annoyed with you. It is reported by Muslim, Hadith 2829. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, When those deserving of paradise entered it, the blessed and the exalted Allah would ask, Do you wish me to give you anything more? They would say, Have you not brightened our faces? Have you not made us enter paradise and saved us from fire? He said, He, God, would lift the veil and of things given to them nothing would be dearer to them than looking at their Lord, the mighty and the glorious. The Prophet said, That is the increment. Then, he recited this verse, For those who have done good is the best, reward, an extra. It is reported by Muslim, Hadith 181. With a simple explanation, which is looking at Almighty Allah does not mean that people encompass him because he is greater than what can be surrounded by the eyes of a creature. Therefore, a place cannot surround him and time cannot finish for him, he is the creator of both of them. Question, Muslim, now that I have answered what you have asked about and explained it to you, I would like to ask you, what is your opinion on Islam? Answer, Hindu, undoubtedly, I have seen in Islam compatibility and conformity with the instinct that Almighty God has created his creatures. Also, I have found in Islam logical and typical answers to everything I thought and I needed a rational answer for. In addition to that, through what Islam told us about the paradise that God prepared for his believer slaves. My mind has been interested in it including a great permanent bliss as well as the pleasure of looking at Almighty Allah because if the paradise is created with this wonderful beautiful description. There is no doubt that the Creator God is the biggest, handsome and greatest. Question, Muslim, so, will you accept Islam as a religion? Answer, Hindu, certainly, with all longing and gracious reception, from now I do not want to contradict the instinct that Almighty God created me upon. Likewise, He has blessed me with the grace of brain to think and reason. Therefore, I do not want to oppose what is consistent with the explicit mental. Question, Hindus, what is the way to enter Islam? Answer, Muslim, in fact, we can say, how to convert to Islam instead of saying, how to enter it because Islam is the religion of instinct that humans were created on and it is compatible with it. In any case, converting to Islam is through the heart's belief in the Creator God and the oneness of His divinity He is the exalted Allah including having faith in the truth of call and the message of the seal. Of the prophets of Allah and His messengers Muhammad peace be upon him and then uttering them as declaration of faith in this way. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Thus, one becomes a Muslim without the need for any rituals or formalities and turns into a new brother, or new sister, in Islam to all Muslims around the world. Hindu, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and his messenger.
I have become a Muslim from now on. Muslim, congratulations, my dear brother, and welcome as a new brother in Islam. Hindu, praise be to Allah who guided me to the grace of Islam and led me to it. In conclusion, we thank the exalted Almighty God for the favor of Islam with which he has blessed us and for letting us be monotheists and Muslims. We worship Allah with the best religion which the last prophet peace be upon him brought. O Allah shower your mercy, peace, and blessing upon your prophet and messenger Muhammad peace be upon him and on all his pure family including his good companions as well as the followers of his guidance and path plus the imitators of his tradition to the day of judgment. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds.